Good morning, everyone, and I hope that everybody had a fantastic weekend and is coming back ready to learn. Okay, I do have a word of the day I'd like to share with everyone, and today's word of the day is stagnant. Stagnant is an adjective. The definition is not flowing or running as water or, or, water or air, stale or foul from standing as a pool of water, inactive or sluggish, a stagnant economy. The bird bath was full of stagnant, dirty water. Synonyms are inactive and stuffy. And my thought of the day is do what's right, not what is easy. Don't forget our values matter challenge for October is responsibility. Responsibility means being accountable for your actions. It includes making good choices and thinking about your actions and paying close attention to others. So I hope that we're always practicing responsibility, but we're really focusing on it for October. Uh, and don't forget the responsibility tweet, create a social media post um, expressing responsibility. Okay, it is Red Ribbon Week. And the motto, the theme is be kind to your mind, live drug free. And don't forget that we're going to have our day and the whole week. Okay, so I wanted to share some of these pictures um, with you. This is uh, some second graders and they are working on their Red Ribbon Week banner. So I wanted to share this with all of you. Here are some of their pictures. Okay, so Red Ribbon Week, making healthy choices. You are worth it. So we are celebrating healthy choices. Change for well, uh, eat well, move more, live longer. So we are celebrating making healthy choices this week for Red Ribbon Week. And I hope that you are all making healthy choices. Don't forget that on Wednesday, October 25th, it is dress down day. Um, it, you can wear a red shirt and jeans. Uh, this is in honor of Red Ribbon Week. Again, you can wear a red shirt and jeans in honor of Red Ribbon Week. Uh, so support Red Ribbon Week and all the activities. And I'd like to thank Ms. Vicente for doing an amazing job with Red Ribbon Week. Great job. And I see that we're all like in those pictures from second grade that everybody's getting started. And let's live healthier, better lives. So this is a I got something to say. Come on, listen to me. 
It's Red Ribbon Week! We're the Red Ribbon Crew, and we're proud to be drug-free. Does everyone here know what Red Ribbon Week is? Red Ribbon Week is a celebration that happens every year during the last week in October. Millions of kids, teenagers, and adults in the United States and around the world wear red ribbons to display to their friends and family to show them all that they are committed to living a life that is free of drugs. You should have been given a red ribbon of your own to wear at this Red Ribbon Rally. Wear yours to school. At your grandma's house. While making your latest viral video. When playing video games with your friends. And at any other place, you want people to know that you believe in living a life free of drugs and alcohol. Here's how Red Ribbon Week got started. Like many hugely positive things, Red Ribbon Week grew out of something profoundly negative. On February 7, 1985, Enrique Kiki Camarena had been kidnapped by drug dealers, never to be seen alive again. For his kidnappers, their story was to end there. However, for his family, friends, and a grateful nation, it was only the beginning. They pledged not to let his legacy fade and his sacrifice be in vain. Across the country, citizens wore and displayed red ribbon. I wear my red ribbon every day not only in memory of Special Agent Camarena, but for all those whose lives were lost trying to free the nation from drugs. Beyond that, the red ribbon symbolized the development of an attitude of intolerance regarding the use of drugs. There is nothing admirable, positive, or socially desirable about it. There is nothing desirable about drugs. They're bad. In a 1988 proclamation, Congress established Red Ribbon Week to commemorate the work and life of Kiki and to show intolerance for drugs in our schools, workplaces, and communities. DEA celebrates Red Ribbon Week with hundreds of other activities, including 5K runs and walks, drug-free carnivals, decorating contests, poster contests, and rap and poetry contests. Live your life the drug-free way. Hold up your ribbon, let's celebrate. I'm drug-free, you're drug-free. Everybody celebrate with me. Move your ribbon from side to side. Let's celebrate. So come on and make me proud. Let's say the pledge out loud. I pledge to stay in school and learn the things that I need to know. I pledge to make the world a better place for kids like me to grow. I pledge to keep my dreams alive and be all that I can be. I pledge to help others and to keep myself drug free. Take a look what some of these kids do to stay drug free. I play baseball and I think that's very important. And education, that's very important. I sing, I act, I go on a lot of social media rants. I'm a very loud teenager. Love who you are as a person and not feel that you have to escape from what's real in life. My whole life right now revolves around performance and entertaining people, making people happy. Keep yourself busy, keep yourself motivated to want to do more than escaping to doing drugs to like, so you can have a fulfilled life. Thanks for joining us everyone. Oh yeah, and visit JustThinkTwice.com for information and stories about living a drug-free life. Have a great Red Ribbon Week! Parents can log on to DEA.gov for more information about preventing childhood drug addiction. Okay, so that is a very important message uh, to be drug free. We are celebrating Red Ribbon Week this week. Uh, remember on the 25th that you guys can 
uh, dress in red, wear a red top in honor of Red Ribbon Week, and live your healthiest life. Okay, so keep track of your login minutes. Uh, we are still doing the read uh, marathon. So write down your minutes when you read. Uh, it's a great way to keep track of your reading also. So let's read, read, read. Okay, so we've been talking about trunk or treat for grades kindergarten through fifth grade. So I want to show you, this is where you could get the tickets for trunk or treat. This is the Aventura Waterways K-8 PTSA store. The, um, it's awk8ptsa.memberhub.com. And this is where you just click here, and this is where you could buy your tickets. It's also where you can get your spirit shirts and sweatshirts and your joggers and all other spirit things and join the PTSA. So it is all on here. So this is how you get your tickets for a trunk or treat. You go on here to get them. Okay, and the middle school dance is approaching. It's on the 25th. It is going to be at the annex from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Please make sure that your costumes are appropriate and please make sure that you get all your permission slips signed. Uh, very, very important in order to attend the dance. It should be a lot of fun. I hope you all have a great time at the dance. Okay. So just a couple of more announcements. Um, one, uh, the book fair is coming next week. Next week, we're going to have the book fair. There is going to be a form that you are going to get. Um, teachers, they should be in your mailbox. If they're not in your mailbox, please let me know. Um, and this is a permission slip. Only those students that have signed permission slips will be allowed to attend the book fair. If you do not have a signed permission slip, you cannot come to the book fair. So teachers, they should be in your mailbox. Please let me know if they are not. Uh, and please send them home ASAP so the students can return them. And you're gonna hold them into in your homeroom. So just hold them, don't send them to me, don't put them in my mailbox, just hold them in your homeroom. Um, and the students that turn them in are going to get bracelets. So just hold on to those. Uh, and that is happening next week. So get ready for the book fair. Um, start saving your money for that. It's going to be really cool. Some great, great things. And then this week is the health screening. So please keep in mind that the media center will be closed due to the health screening. Um, teachers in grades three, four, and five, I sent you some emails. Please check your email regarding library and some alternative things that are going to be happening because of the health screening. Um, don't forget your DBGD forms are due this week, teachers. So please make sure that you are working on those. That is all my announcements, and I hope that everybody has a great day. Thank you for watching WEXP News. Have fun exploring today.